Hello and welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtech Configuration Series. Today I will discuss on premier based load balancing in Microtech. There are many ways we can do load balancing in Microtech, but the best practice is premier based load balancing. But one problem is that it is not 100% automation. In policy based routing, both one links will be using at the same time. Traffic can be load balanced between two one links. Let's see how we can do it. First, we'll go to the IP, so to the address. You can see I have two IP address from two different ISPs. One is ISP1 and one is ISP2. We have LAN IP address as 10.10.10.1 slash 24 Ether 5 interface. Now I will divide this prefix this LAN prefix into two subnet. For group A, my IP will be 10.10.10.0 slash 25 and for group B, my IP will be 10.10.10.128 slash 25. So for workstation A, we put in group A logically will be from 10.10.10.2 to 127. And for orchestration B, we put in group B logically, will be from 10.10.10.128 to 254. But when we configure IP in orchestration, we will give default gateway as 10.10.10.1 and default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 for all workstation. Okay, now we will do route marking in firewall mangle. All route mark and packet marks are done in mangle. We'll do the rule for group A route fast. So with IP and firewall, then with the mangle. Sign to add. Our chain will be pre routing. And the source address, this is for group A. So I will select the group A IP prefix from the LAN address 10.10.10.0 slash 25, which is group A. And in the action, we will select mark routing and we give it give a name ISP1. Then we will introduce it in our uh, routes, IP routes. Apply and OK. You can give a comment here to understand what the rule is about. Now we'll configure rule for group B. Chain resource net chain is pre-routing. Source addresses now for group B prefix 10.10.10.128 slash 25. In action mark routing, new routing mark, we keep name ISP2. Try and OK. Give the command to SP2. Okay. Now we will give default route for both ISP link. So we will go to the IP and the routes. I've already created the routes here. We'll just introduce the routing map in here. Select the routing mode for both eyes playing accordingly. For ISP1, select the first one. And for this one for ISP2, from the drop down menu, select the ISP2. You see the destination address is any address 0 0.0.0 0 slash 0. And get away is your ISP2 gateway. Apply and OK. 
the distance will be the same one for both things. So group A will be routed to ISP1 and group B IP will be routed to ISP2. We will configure net for LAN users to access the internet. Okay, then firewall to the net. I have already created this one. Chain will be sources, no source such as specified here, no interface specified, just in action must correct. This will work for all LAN prefix. Now we will test from our LAN PC. First we will keep an IP from the group A block. from the group A. This IP is from group A. Now we will ping to Google DNS. Yes, our internet is working. So I will just check the IP address what I'm getting from the what is my IP address.com. Now I will change my IP address from group A address to group B address, which is from the 128 to 254. So I will keep this 129 here subnet mask and get will be the same I will check the internet okay I'm getting now from the what is my IP address you will see there's a change in the one IP address you can see group A and group B route is different and we are getting different IP from different one links so that's it. Subscribe this channel for more videos in Microdict Tutorial. Thanks for watching.